Why are you running for re-election? Well, frankly, because I'm extremely effective, uh, work very hard, and get the job done for the 5th Congressional District. Proven track record of results, uh, judge one of the 10 most effective lawmakers in the House mm. of Representatives. Frankly, I've also got the background, I think, that helps me do a great job. Started two businesses from scratch, a veterinarian for over 33 years, talked to a lot of people, get to know the district, I think, extremely well. My farm is in Canby, Oregon, family of five, so know what it's like to start to raise kids and get them mm -hmm. hopefully off to school or career and technical education <laughs> programs. I think you need someone that has a background in real life, uh, is grounded to understand what they're going through when you're making all these laws in Washington, D.C. or even mm -hmm. Salem, Oregon. So I, I think I'm uh, pretty uniquely qualified. What are the key issues you want to improve on if you get reelected? Well, the most important issue, the one I get asked about all the time when I come home, is, uh, you know, geez, Kurt, uh, can you just get something done? Can you please just work together? Mm -hmm. And uh, I've made that a, a hallmark of what I try and do in Washington, D.C. It's not just about any one issue. Uh, Congress has a terrible reputation, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm trying to restore the power of Congress. Uh, theoretically, the way our forefathers wrote the Constitution, Congress is supposed to be in charge, not the president, mm -hmm. you know, not a bunch of judges. Uh, it's supposed to be Congress because we more directly represent you and the, the folks in our, our congressional district. I started a group called the Problem Solvers about four or five years ago. Equal numbers of Democrats and Republicans uh, that work together on tough issues of our time. These things that people want us to work on, uh, I can get bipartisan alternatives you know, for those. The problem is we can't get them to the floor of the House because the rules of the House of Representatives and the extreme partisan nature of the leadership prevents rank and file members like myself from getting to yes. I'm working with a lot of my Democrat and Republican colleagues to change how Congress operates. What have you accomplished in office? We passed uh, the only uh, bill this Congress to rein in uh, the high pharmaceutical costs uh, because some drug companies are being unscrupulous and jacking the price up. My friend Gus Rockus from Florida, Republican, and I teamed up and passed a bill that said, oh, you try and do that? We're going to give a fast track process to anyone who wants to come in and supply mm -hmm. a generic alternative to take the profit motive out of it for that hedge fund manager and keep the drug costs down for you know folks like you and me. What do you think about the issue of homelessness and how would you want to aid this issue? Well, it's a huge issue. Clackamas County has stepped up and done a nice, nice little veterans uh, transition housing program here. It's really a great idea. I'm trying to give back a little to those men and women that served our country. Uh, doing a similar project in Marion County. Uh, I'm hopeful that uh, one of the things, if Democrats take control, we'll get into a more thoughtful discussion about that budget and how we can team up and partner with our state and local folks in providing housing alternatives for a lot of homeless people, particularly our veterans.